Hey Auburn students, it's Mr. Gardner with a quick message. Uh, we've been showing this slide in our comments for the past few days, and it's just a thank you, uh, a thank you from the administrative team, thanking our student leaders, our senior class, and all the students who are working together to have a successful and respectful start to our school year and for the people. You know, it's not just about the school and the building, but you know, we're at, interacting with colleagues and with peers and you know, people come here every single day, spend a lot of time at the school, and they deserve to go home every day feeling successful. And I just want to say your efforts are showing. We still have a long ways to go before the end of the school year. Um, I reminded some students today that we're one-eighth through the school year already. Pretty soon we're going to be able to say we're one-fourth, and then so on and so on. And pretty soon it'll be winter break and then second semester, and it's going to go quite fast. The main thing is we've started well. We want to continue well. And I do have um, a strong reminder. I wanna make sure every student, every staff member understands what I'm reminding everybody of today. And uh, it's a strong reminder. So kind of get used to these. Hopefully we don't have to bring up very many of these, but this is one I wanna make sure our students understand because we did make an amendment to our student handbook. Okay, the handbook is electronic. So we will make an update on our school website. We will let your parents know about this too, but I wanted the students to know about this first. Auburn High School is a closed campus, okay? So once on campus, once you get here, you gotta stay here until the end of the school day. Now we've had some years where that's been really good. We've had some years where we weren't even on campus during quarantine where everyone was doing, you know, learning behind a screen. That wasn't so great. And our students were quite good when it was hybrid. Last year, we kind of went back to ways that, um, I'm not quite sure where they came from, but students were kind of coming and going as they pleased. Administrators, we were so tied up with all the, the COVID um, guidelines, we just didn't really have opportunities of time to really deal with it. Well, this year the guidance is gone. This year I want to let you know we're, we're back to a campus where we are closed. I want to make sure that message is very clear to every Trojan. Teachers in Troy time, if you want to stop the video now and check every single student in your Troy time or whatever class you're showing this, please do that now. All right, next thing I wanna go on to is I wanna show you this is school board policy, okay? It's 3242. You no, know, it doesn't really uh, get too many people excited when you hear about school board policies, but the expectation um, is that you're on campus. The exception to this policy requires approval of the superintendent. That's not even me, that's Dr. Alan Spachati. He's the only one that can say a student can leave during the school day um, and come back, uh, outside of your own parents, of course, but. You can't leave at lunch. You can't just take off whenever you want. That's just not how it works. This is a safety policy and practice, so please take this seriously. I'm not gonna read you that whole thing right there. Hopefully, teachers, you go ahead and stop the video, read this to your students, have some conversations, okay? Also understand we're not going to accept any outside deliveries. If we see them happening, we're gonna turn them around, and it may be at your costs. Okay, we have food on campus. You can bring your own food, but we're not going to be, be, yeah, be bringing people onto campus who we don't know. We're a closed campus. That just doesn't mean we can't leave during the day. That also means we can't have outside unauthorized people showing up. Uber drivers are not authorized. Okay, Unfortunately, they might be some of your family members, and that's not to put them down, but the fact of the matter is we are a closed campus. All right, this is the change we made, okay? So if it's an off-campus violation, um, what you see across the, the green and yellow and red lines there are the different types of discipline we can administer to students, okay? We can have conversations with you. That's more restorative. It could be punitive. We could put you in detention, okay? We all could, also could exclude you. We don't wanna do that, but just know this. Students who leave campus during the school day are subject to a safety check, okay? You leave campus, you're gonna be subject to a safety check. We'll walk into an office, we'll check your backpack, your jackets, your pockets, and hopefully you're not bringing anything onto campus you shouldn't have, all right? That's how serious we're taking this. Failure to comply with such a safety check, okay, could result in emergency expulsion, because now we gotta worry about what do you have on your person or on your belongings, okay? I hope I'm not talking to you. I hope I'm talking to nobody. I hope no one will take this up on this, but just know, Keeping the campus safe is our number one priority. So please understand, when you walk off campus without authorization and you return, this is what you're gonna to return to. So the best thing to do 
stay on campus, help us have a great year, help us finish strong, work on your grades. This is a, a learning environment and we got to help maintain that. So if you have any questions, ask your Troy Town teachers. If they're not sure, they're going to reach out to us, us being the administration. If you want to come talk to us during lunch, during breakfast, have conversations about it so you can better understand it, we're always open for that. Okay. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.